Alrighty guys, welcome to my completely brand new video on how to install Sweet Effects in the crew. Now this actually will work for any kind of game pretty much. This isn't just uh, basically restricted to the crew. You can, it'll work with pretty much any kind of game, but uh, just a little bit of a warning. Um, be sure to go onto your forms for your games and look up to see if Sweet Effects is actually allowed for your game. If you're going to be installing for a certain game, because certain games don't allow Sweet Effects and certain games do. And this, uh, the crew just so happens to allow sweet effects. So, uh, yeah, so, so I'm going to be uh, redoing this tutorial because this tutorial is no longer valid because, well, all the sweet effects uh, database files for versions below 1.0 and so forth are no longer there. They're completely gone. So this video is now going to be re uh, reverted to an old. This uh, video is completely irrelevant because this is a very, very old version of the crew. Not the current version of Wildrun slash uh, Calling All Units. So yeah, let's get to that. And of course, these uh, basically these uh, how would you call them? The presets. These presets are no longer valid anymore because we're doing using a different version of Sweet Effects, and uh, yeah, reshade. So the, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing uh, Sweet Effects version 3.0.6, which is the newest version of Sweet Effects currently. There are a few problems with it, which I will get into a little bit later after I install it and then I go into the crew, but. For the most part, this is actually a pretty easy s system to install. Now, all you got to do is you got to click this down download button, and then you will get a download in your downloads area. In this case, it's an exe. Uh, it's actually going to be an exe file, but I'm going to delete it because I already have this thing installed. Never remove it entirely. Now, uh, moving on to the next part, let me actually go to where the sweet effects thing is at. Now here we are, we have, all we have is this uh, exe file, and that's it. Now uh, let me actually show you what kind of files it'll install. Files like these, the reshade shaders folder, this file and this file, are the only files that are going to be installed into your game directory. So it's not going to actually modify your game files completely, So uh, which is a good thing. Now let's open this up, and all you gotta do is you gotta run this exe file, select it which game you want to install, Sweet effects slash reshade onto, and this is going to install to the crew. And you can, you're not going to use the launcher; you're going to use this version of the crew, and like that. And I recommend using OpenGL. And then, of course, you have to say yes to this because it's going to download a whole bunch of effects for reshade to work properly. And all you got to do is download them all. I recommend keeping all these checked because you never know what you want to actually use. So uh, just keep them all checked, and then you're done. It's fully installed, and here it is in the crew. And that's all that gets installed. This, this, and this. That's it. That's all it, it takes for reshade to work. Now I actually have a preset installed on here before, and I actually uninstalled reshade from uh, my crew directory so that I can uh, walk you through step by step as to how you can actually make this work. So now let's go into the crew, and I will show you how the whole entire setup process works. All right. So here we are in the crew. Now, uh, when you actually first launch up the crew, you're actually going to get a little kind of uh, thing up on the top of the screen, which will say that uh, reshade is starting up and the effects are starting up. Now, uh, ignore that, but uh, you're fine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you start up reshade is you're going to want to change the hotkey for op opening up the overlay. I recommend setting it to something that's not going to open up a uh, Uplay overlay or Steam overlay. I just decided to set it as numpad minus in this case right here. And then you're going to also want to set a toggles effect key. In this case, I'm going to set scroll lock. And then this is optional right here. You can set it a, a path to put your screenshots in. You can put it in the game directory, or you can specifically program it so that it'll go to a specific point in my computer. I will do that a little bit later, but that's not the point of this video. Now, uh, the usage, usage mode, you don't have to change this. This is perfectly fine. It uh, doesn't cost any kind of FPS straps in any kind of way whatsoever. Each setting basically works is exactly the same. I don't know why this is an option, but for some reason it's there. Now, basically, these settings right here, these are actually give the option of whatever the game's doing. So in this case, if I do this, actually let me minimize out of this and close Uplay overlay so I can show you what's going on here. I'm going to open up this. I'm going to have to turn off scroll lock because that. Now basically what this does is this programs so that if this is open, in this case if you have the mouse on the overlay, it won't do anything to your game. But as soon as you go out of this, the game will start doing things. Again, so I recommend 
you set it up, oh, this is the wrong setting, I recommend you set it up so it's this default setting like this, block all input when overlay is visible, so that way, you, if you're going around all over on the outside of your game, you're not going to actually uh, do anything on your game, and your game's not going to react to your mouse. So basically, it's going to disable it. Now, uh, basically we've done all that, of course, uh, you can also here, you have the option to open up uh, to show FPS in the top right corner, and also a clock, but it's in military time the clock, so that's not very useful for me. So we can close all that, and of course you can also set the color of whatever you want it to be. Now the cool part about this version of Sweet Effects is you actually get statistics. In this case, I have my FP there's an FPS counter right here as well. This FPS counter is actually not 100% accurate. I don't know why it's sitting at like uh, 270 frames a second. It's not 100% accurate, but it gives you a good representation of how, power how fast your computer is working. And also, this is showing all of the techniques that are working on here. It's called techniques, but these are actually the filters that are running for Sweet Effects. In this case, nothing's running because I have not actually programmed anything. So let's go to the home and do the tutorial real quick. This is just going to go through whatever it's going to do. In this case, I actually have already a uh, preset on my computer. And the best part about this is I'll actually include my preset in the description if you guys are interested in trying out my preset. The cool part about this is all you got to do is you got to take the preset, load it into your uh, game directory, directly into your game directory wherever your game's located. Just drop it in there and then when you start this up all you gotta do is you gotta select it here like I'm showing you right here then click continue. Continue this is just going over to what these do. Now they, this basically let me actually collapse everything here. These this part of the screen right here is actually what you use to activate certain parts of effects in this case but the effects are disabled right now so let me turn those back on. Let me actually Turn off my caps lock key because that's my OCD is kicking in. Basically, here's where you actually turn certain effects on. By default, all these effects are actually turned off. And then you gotta do things to them. So yeah, this is my setup, but I'm going to make a new setup for you guys right here. All you gotta do is name it, click enter, and that's it. You've got yourself a setup. I don't know what happened here, the text got a little cut off, but whatever. Basically, here you can start screwing around with all the different kinds of settings. So in this case, I will show you Vibrance real quick. You select Vibrance, and then you scroll down to the bottom. It's alphabetical right here. Here, uh, this is actually the wrong one. This is Vibrance right here. So as you can see, I have my Vibrance right here. And uh, the cool part about this version of Sweet Effects is, let me actually move this window. That's a nice feature. You can move your wind, uh, this overlay. And the nice part about this sweet version of Sweet Effects is you can actually see on demand what these settings are actually doing before you actually had to sec uh, guess exactly what you wanted to do with your setups. And so let me set that up as five. I'm not going to use my numpad because that's good. That's where all my banding cam keys are set up too. So I don't want to screw something up. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different kinds of versions. We have Technicolor, which is actually the same thing as uh, basically vibrant. So it actually desaturates the color a little bit. As you can see, we have a. Uh, this is actually anti-aliasing. I don't recommend turning this on if you already have anti-aliasing on in your game, because all it's going to do is it's going to cause lag. We have blurs. We have an HDR. We have a bunch of different kinds of uh, effects that you can do for the crew. Now, uh, let me actually go into my setup, and I'll show you exactly what I've done. I have vibrates on. I have curves on, and I have bloom on. And this is specifically designed so that whatever you have enabled actually shows up first, which is nice. It's not alphabetical order, but whatever you have enabled will actually go opposite. Actually, it's not really going opposite. It's whatever you enabled first. Well, will show up first. And then, of course, yeah. Screwing around the bloom. This obviously doesn't do anything. But for the most part, the settings are actually basically the same from uh, the older version of the Sweet Effects, except for, from what I've seen, bloom actually has a whole bunch of other different kinds of settings. You have different kinds of settings. You have different kinds of lens flares now available in the game, which you can turn on, but keep in mind, these will actually severely impact your performance of the game, so let me actually turn on uh, this lens flare right here and show you what that does. Actually, it doesn't really do anything, to be completely honest. I think this one will do something. So as you can see, that's a lens flare right there that's causing an effect for the game. On demand as well. We have this as well. This doesn't really do anything. Where's that one? Ah, this one. Turn this on, and then this causes some weird lens flares. You can play around with that and reduce the effect if it's too bright. Just play around with these settings. Of course, uh, hopefully, sooner or later, after I release this video, more people are going to uh, put presets on the... Uh, basically, just going to create presets for all you guys. 
that you guys can play with. Hopefully, Arctic Games will get into this and uh, start making pre uh, his just recreate his set setup for uh, the crew. But for the most part, I am actually the first person that has created a set uh, a setup for the crew. Now, um, this is the part of the video where I'm actually going to be telling you guys the the drawbacks and the good parts about this version of Reshade. The problem with this version of Reshade right now is if you're running the game, uh, the crew, on Steam, uh, the the Steam overlay gets disabled. Usually I have an FPS thing up here to tell me how much FPS I'm getting, but as you can see it's not there because the Steam overlay is disabed because I have SweetFX running. For some strange reason, I don't know why, but the Uplay overlay still works perfectly fine. The Steam overlay is broken. I told them about that on the forums. Uh, hopefully they can fix that up in the future, but uh, for the most part, the, the Steam overlay is broken on, on, in this case. But uh, the benefits of it, using this, this version of Reshade on the crew, is there's basically no crashing issues with it at all. There's no FPS changes. Before with my version of the crew, when I took a picture with photo mode 4K, uh, my game would crash because I would have sweet effects running. With this version of sweet effects, that doesn't happen anymore. Nothing happens with the crew. No more major crashing issues anymore. And if you're at the start menu and you qu click quit, it no longer crashes your game. With the older versions below version 1.0, it would actually crash the crew if you clicked quit on the start screen. Doesn't do that anymore, thankfully. But for the most part, this is actually... I highly recommend you guys get this. This is a great version of Reshade. It's a little bit hard to understand, but like I said, hopefully people will start making presets for the crew in the future. So uh, now I'm actually going to show you uh, how uh, the, the settings that I have, what uh, changes with the crew. Alrighty, so here we are in the HQ with my Mercedes AMG GT. As you can see, this green looks pretty nice on my AMG GT. The tail lights look a little bit faded and so forth, but if I turn Sweet Effects on, the green looks a lot better now. The lights are a little bit brighter as well, which is uh, a bonus, I guess. And the tail lights also look more vibrant as well. As you can see, but for the most part, the body color becomes a lot more vibrant, and it looks a lot cooler as well. And if we go to the interior, the interior gauges also get a bit of an, uh, an increase in color as well. And the interior color as well. Also, the interior leather also changes color as well. But let's get a different colored car now, and I'll show you just so we can get a good idea of the uh, what it does in terms of colors. Alrighty, so here we are with my McLaren 12C. As you can see, this orange looks pretty nice. It looks a little bit washed out, but that's mainly because the sweet effects is not on. So let me turn the sweet effects on, and there you go. It looks a lot more vibrant. It looks like that cr that nice volcano orange. Actually, this is not the volcano orange color. The volcano orange color is darker, but this is a very nice looking orange now overall. And we, as, you, as you can see again, the interior colors change as well. Brake calipers cha uh, change color as well because it's the same body color. Going to the interior. As you can see, it also makes an effect for the interior as well. So yeah, now let's get a, I don't know, let's a red car or something. Okay, so here we have my Nissan 370Z. I forgot to turn off Sweet Effects, but this is actually what the Sweet Effects looks like when it's on, uh, with what the game looks like when the Sweet Effects is on, and when it's off. As you can see, the red becomes a lot more vibrant, and it looks just a lot better overall. Again, it does something to the taillights. Not nearly as an effect as on the AMG GT, but still, interior color as well. But you get the point, I'm not going to show you the interior anymore, nor the uh, lights. So now let's, uh, I don't know, let's move on to a blue car now. Alrighty, so here is my Selena S7 in this very, very nice, lovely blue. And uh, here's a before and after. Of course, toggling between before and after as well. As you can see, the sweet effects doesn't make a major difference. Now let's get a different color car. Let's see, what should I get? Should I... Let's get a yellow one. Okay, so here is my Alfa Romeo 8C with this nice, lovely yellow. It's kind of washed out, but if we turn on Sweet Effects, it becomes that proper, like, lime yellow color. So, yeah, it looks very, very nice. Now let's get... Let's see, what have I checked? I've checked for pretty much most of the colors already. I'm going to try... I'm going to pick a random color now. And uh, Actually, I'm going to see if I can have a different color. And if I can't, I uh, will sh go to uh, show you what the effects look like in free roam. Alrighty, so I haven't found, I didn't, I couldn't find any other colored car that I could test. Now, uh, let me go out. Now I'm here out in free roam, showing you what kind, what the effects actually do, 
to all of the cards in general. Now, let me actually show you what the bloom actually does to the cards for oh, that's damage. Good. Dang it. Uh, turn my headlights all the way on. And then go into nighttime. Now, for the most part, what the bloom actually does is it actually makes the headlights brighter for the most part. As you can see, there's a little bit of an effect, kind of like an afterglow coming off of the lights. Let me turn the UI back up. There's a little bit of an afterglow coming off through here, and of course, this is just the base game stuff right here. So if I open this up, and I go into Bloom, and I turn it off, as you can see, just that little part of the light becomes a lot dimmer, and the other lights become a little dimmer as well. So let me move this out of the way for you guys, and I'll show you the effect that Bloom does. This is why I like Bloom. I like making the lights look a little bit brighter than they actually are. That's my favorite p feature of... Uh, just doing sweet sweet effects as well, and of course I think the lights also become a little bit brighter as well. So let me actually exit out of photo mode. Do this. Make it clear weather. Turn my lights on. And then, oop, wrong one. And then put it into nighttime mode. As you can see, the headlights do become a little bit brighter. You, actually, the vibrance actually makes the environment a little bit easier to see at nighttime, which is nice. But yeah, for the most part, this is a this is a pretty good. Let's just say it came it came out pretty good. So going into the interior real quick, just to take a quick look. As you can see, the gauges look absolutely amazing. Now let me actually get in pretty close to one of the gauges, and I will toggle between sweet effects and show you the effects. So for the most part, the gauges become a little bit brighter. Of course, they become a little bit more vibrant because of the vibrance. This little center nav screen, I think, also becomes a little bit brighter. Just the little effects of the light f shining off of it becomes a little bit brighter. But, I think you guys get the point. I think I've talked enough for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, hopefully, this will inspire more people to use this version of Sweet FX for the future, for the crew, and so forth. And, like I said, there's pretty much no major issues besides uh, disabling the Steam UI. Hopefully, they will f uh, the people that make Reshade work will fix that for the future very very soon so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give the video a like and stuff and i will see you in the next one